Hello guys, this is Chink in HSW, and I want to read you something here. You believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe, and believe that, and they shudder. Why don't ch ch churches um, preach about demons? Why don't they minister how dangerous demons are? I have been going to church since I was eight, nine years old. My mom took me to Baptist church. And I rarely, if ever, heard a pastor preach about demons and how dangerous they are. Well, demons aren't real. Yeah, demons are real. Well, that was in the Old Testament. Demons are not on the earth anymore. Yes, they are. They are. On the, as a matter of fact, it says in the Word that demons are running the world until God comes back. So why don't ministers preach more about demons? They're very dangerous. They're very manipulative. There are a lot of reasons why people are having problems with drugs, pornography, drinking, alcoholism. Because they whisper in those people's ear when those people are down. Listen to this one. This one got me. A spirit glided past my face and the hair on my body stood on end. Now, people who watch a lot of sci-fi movies and a lot of TV shows, uh, where have you heard that before? Maybe on Ghost Hunters? Ghost Adventures? Dude, dude, the hair is standing on the back of my neck. Have you ever had that feeling before? I have. That feeling is wicked. That feeling is a warning that something is wrong. Something is going on. People who sit here and talk about, well, it's my old uncle that who just died watching my child. No, it's not. As much as you want to believe that, it is not your uncle, your sister, your mother-in-law, your mother, your daughter-in-law, your father, your son. It is a demon begging on you, feeding on your weakness to gain trust so they can get into your life and destroy it. They are very deceiving. They are liars. Even demons can show up as a light, a light like an angel. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake and bird of sulfur, and the beast of false prophets had been thrown. They will be tormented today and night, forever and ever. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? Legion, he replied, because many demons had gone into him. Demons are real, guys. They're not fantasy. They're not from movies. They're, 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 they're real. And ministers are afraid to minister about them. They're afraid to preach about them. Most of the time they preach about how God loves us, how God forgives us, how God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son. What we need to do to get people on our side. And they're right. We need to minister about that stuff. But we need to minister about the dangerous stuff too. We need to start ministering about demons. We need to start ministering how they can manipulate people. How they can change people's lives. How they can possess people. How they can sit here and use our worldly items such as ghosts, spirits, Wicca, paganism. All this kind of stuff against us. And we need to start ministering how dangerous they are. How are we supposed to fight a battle against an enemy we know nothing about? I have been on this subject for years. And I'm not talking about like Benny Ham, the way they minister about demons or, or all the prosperity preachers. They, they minister about demons, but all they care about is money. They don't care about your soul. They don't care about your life. The ministers who do care, they need to start ministering about this. So please, I've never asked this in one of my videos. If you know a minister or a pastor who minister in 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 Baptist, um, um, it, it doesn't matter which, it doesn't matter which 
um, the, the, it doesn't matter which version of the Bible. Share them this video. Let them know that there is more to life than just love and forgiveness. There is dangers in this world that we have to start understanding and we have to start recognizing. These demons are real. They are really messing up people's life and they are getting worse and worse every day. All you have to do is look around you and you will see that. I love you guys. I love the pastors who preach. Just be aware of our enemies. You don't have to, if you're scared of them, you don't have to just learn and be aware of them. That way, if you ever won't go up against one, you'll be ready. You have the armor of God put on, the shield of faith and the Bible in your hand. Put on and you're ready to fight them. Love you guys and God bless.